They may have taken their sweet time, but boy howdy, the new 360 sale is here, and I gotta say it ain't too ruddy shabby. So step right up, don't be shy, get your wallets out, hit that like button, and let's take a little peek at what's been reduced on the store. Right, firstly we have a game that's been stuck on the 360 store since the early days and that's the fantastic resurrection of the old NES top-down side-scrolling shoot-em-up game known as 1942 Joint Strike. And I gotta say, Capcom really knocked it out of the park with this one and combined beautiful 2D visuals and 3D graphics to make a game that feels distinctly retro but still pops out of the screen. Yeah sure, the genre may not be everyone's cup of tea, but the wartime setting, tight controls and intensely difficult yet ultimately rewarding gameplay make the game an easy recommendation. So for just 67p then... Why the feck not? Another classic franchise to get a new lease of life on the Xbox Arcade was Bionic Commando Rearmed. But while its sequel did get the backwards compatibility treatment and is no doubt a fantastic game, the original for whatever reason did not. So yes, do go pick up Rearm 2 as it's only currently 99p, but more importantly make sure you grab yourself the first Rearm game as its mix of shooting, vibrant colours and zippy arm launching swinging mixed with platforming is indeed the bionic tits. The game's co-op and multi player modes also slap like a robotic hand to the face which all just culminates to make spending 67 pence on this game and no wife's consciousness implanted in your arm brainer. In 1992, one of the most controversial video games of all time was first unleashed in arcades. For the fatally low price of £3.37, you can nab yourself not one, but three spine-pulling, get-over-here, screaming classic MK games in the form of the Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection. Anyway, this compilation contains the OG Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. If you're not a fan of the series, I wouldn't say it's an essential purchase, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than getting yourself the original cartridges. But, if you like your 2D fighters a little less bloody and retro feeling, well then, good news! As Darkstalker's Resurrection also got a nice discount. But wait! Yeah, 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 as if that wasn't enough punching and kicking shenanigans for you, well then there are also free Street Fighter titles you can grab at a heavily reduced price. Street Fighter Hyper Fighter is just 67p. Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix is currently at 99p, as is Street Fighter 3 Online Edition. Burnout Crash takes the excellent crash time mode of the Burnout series, adds in a top-down perspective and strips it all down to its destructively good roots. Which all just leads to the game being an insanely addictive, explosively good time that'll have you having just one more go over and over again chasing your best score. Sure, while the game starts simple, you'll soon learn it's not all mindless carnage and there's a solid amount of strategy hidden behind all the fireballs and insanity. Burnout won't burn a hole in your pocket and is now sitting at 67p. I already covered Alien Spitty in a previous video and mentioned that even though the game had vibrant and striking visuals as well as a well-designed world that was complemented by some absolutely great music, but yet I said ignore all that as unfortunately the game's frustratingly bad control scheme made it a hard recommendation. But now the game is only £1.19 so you may want to swing yourself over to it and give it a try. 
You're a man of impeccable taste and distinction. Yes, sir. Another game I already covered but highly recommend this time is Death Spank, a Diablo-esque hacking and slashing game that's smart, dry, Monty Python-esque, fantasy-based, tongue-in-cheek humour elevates the game into something truly special. The game's co-op mode is also a blast, so if you've been on the medieval fence about Death Spank up until now, well then its new price of just 99p may slay and loot that pickle of yours. In a world of polygons and normal maps, the pixel is still king. One game that is always a riot at parties and may make your rocket-shaped pickle prematurely blast off is Rocket Riot. I've already covered the game in my Xbox Games to Get Drunk With video, so check that out if you haven't already. Anyway, this perfect multiplayer madness hilarity ensuing good time is only £1.68 and worth every penny. I've always hovered over the purchase button when it came to Dust Force, as its box art gives off some strong speedrunner vibes, but with brooms. Apparently it's more of a solo focused high score chasing affair, but still looks fun all the same. This one's currently downloading to my Xbox 360 as we speak and only cost me 79p. What do we know? There was an explosion at Blackgate about six hours ago. They think maybe an escape attempt went bad. Sure, Arkham Origins may be considered the black sheep in the family, but its little brother dubbed Arkham Origins Blackgate seems to be completely forgotten about. Which is kind of a shame as this spin-off that follows the story of Arkham Origins may water down the Arkham formula a little bit, but in my opinion still retains the elements of the atmosphere, brutal punchy combat, smart stealth mechanics and detective puzzle based shenanigans that made its console versions the clown shape tits, but just in a more linear fashion. And yeah, 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 look, look, I would have never recommended splashing out on this one at the price it was, but now it's just £3.99, which is a steal, considering this is the deluxe edition of the game that comes with new maps, enemy encounters, difficulty levels, bat suits, and enhanced visuals, and probably more. Spare Parts isn't the prettiest game, nor is it the most polished, and it does kinda play and feel like a poor man's ratchet and clank. But if you have the spare change, in the value of 67 pence, to part away with, you could do a lot worse. But if you would rather spend your hard-earned bees and honey on a genuinely great title, then I could not recommend Warp Enough, as it's an adorable looking bloodbath, where you run, jump and warp around a research centre solving puzzles while occasionally murdering the odd scientist. It's kinda like Explosion Man, but way more graphic. And this just makes Warp a strategic, occasionally head-scratchingly bloody, oh so bloody good time because because of it. So I say warp yourself over to the marketplace and spend 67p on this one immediately. Unfortunately, Russian Attack Expatriate didn't make the cut when it came to the 360 sale, which is a shame as it's the Russian's tits. But the OG NES Classic did, however, and has had its price sliced down to just 84p. The mysterious, unnerving adventure-based shenanigans of Anna Extended Edition is currently haunting the 360 store at an eerily good price of just £1.59. Be warned though, gameplay with this one is of the point-and-click variety, but here it's in a 3D FPS kind of way, and well, you explore, point at shit, click on shit, and solve some puzzles with said shit. It's not my cup of tea, and the lack of direction makes progressing through the game a bit of a slog. It does have some good sound design and some moments of well done psychological terror, but if these games aren't your bag, well, Anna won't turn you into a fan.
Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams is available basically everywhere, but has got a nice discount on the 360 store nonetheless and can be picked up for only £2.49. But is it worth it? Well, that depends on you, as if you're a fan of retro-feeling platformers that have a gorgeous modern-day lick of paint applied to them, brimming with charm and great characters and well-balanced new additions to the genre, well then yes, I'd pick it up. But if you're sick of slick, over-stylized games where you just run, jump and collect shiny things, well then give it a miss. I personally think it's great, but I'm a drunk, so why are you listening to me? I am not drunk. Right, due to Microsoft somehow dropping the sale at dumb as fuck o'clock, I'm not only extremely inebriated, but also very tired. So here are the rest of the games that got a reduction that I cannot be feck to have a dunce-like rant about. Dollar Dash is an addictive mobile type game, kinda similar to Bomberman's, but involves less bombs, well kinda, and instead more grabbing that dollar, than dashing to deposit it. It's best played in multiplayer, and currently the game will cost you just over a dollar in the US, but just under a pound over here in England. Next up is Mini Ninja's Adventures, a motion-based spin-off from IO Interactive's hidden gem Mini Ninja's. If you still use your Kinect, well, this one is only one pound and one penny for some reason. Another Kinect game you may want to invest your funds in is Lead Me's, a unique Kinect title that sees you control in your giant stick like figure into various poses to help you get your mini pals to safety. Lead Me's is currently at a discounted £1.68. While it didn't show up on the initial list of games that got discounted when I was browsing through the store over and ruddy over again till I saw the prices drop, I noticed that the classic flash game stickman based platforming and sliding childhood nostalgic antics of the fancy pants adventures had erased its high price to only 60 7p. And lastly we have Puzzle Chronicles and Microbot. Neither are really my bag but they both got a reduction. Puzzle Chronicles is now only £1.68 and Microbots, a game where you shrink microscopically down and wipe out all the nasty things lurking in your body by blasting them in the face, but as I've killed enough of my little soldiers through years of over-consuming the golden nectar, I may give this one a miss. Bad jokes aside, Microbots price has shrunk to a molecular sized insignificant 67 pence. Oh ruddy bulls, I just checked again and I somehow missed Frogger Hyper Arcade Edition Voodoo Dice and Yia Kung Fu. Frogger Hyper is a hyper jazzed up take on the classic Frogger formula where you help the little guy get from one side of the level to the other over and over again. The game's initial price was quite a leap, but now has been croaked down to just £1.68. Voodoo Dice is an addictive, slightly odd, but challenging game where you move your dice around a map. It's better than it looks or sounds, trust me. And I'm not sure if the price reduction has been applied yet, so put a pin in it for now. And lastly, I have to shout out Yia Kung Fu. Probably got that wrong, but hey ho. This one is only £1.69, but Microsoft are still working on getting the correct prices, and this seems a little steep for a bare bones port of an old classic fighter. If you have seen, and done, everything that Bionic Commando Rearmed and its sequel has to offer, but are still craving some insanely good high-speed retro classic side-scrolling shenanigans, then it's your lucky day, punk. And you should quickly stride over to the store and check out Strider, as it really is the shuriken-shaped tits and has now had its price slashed to only £1.19. The game feels incredible to play. Play looks stunning and combines fast and fluid combat with precision perfect platforming and a healthy dose of metroidvania style unlockables and progression to make a fine, fine, fine little gem. So trust me guys, download this one ASAP.
Right, that's all the digital only stuff that got an almighty price reduction, but we are not done yet, and we'll be back soon with any games that do have a physical release, but are also downloadable on the store for a fraction of the price, so it's time for now that I say Toodle Pip. Which of these games tickle your bargain save and pickle? Let me know down in the comments below, but until next time, you guys just stay tipsy.